Item number five, please. Order number 28-1213, ordered that Amy Turner, 82 Pitt Street, be and hereby is appointed to the Library Advisory Board at Large Livingston for a term which expires December 31st, 2014, postponed on September 5th, 2012. Passage requires majority vote. Thank you. Is anyone in the public who would like to speak to this matter? And seeing none, what is the wish of the council? I'd like to move for passage of order number 28-1213. Excellent. Thank you. It's a motion by Councillor Livingston and a second by Councillor Coward. Councillor Livingston. Thank you very much, Madam Mayor. I'd first like to thank Kathy Barabee for her service on the Library Advisory Board. For several years she served there. And I'm, and I'm very excited tonight to uh, appoint uh, uh, Amy Turner to this position. Uh, she brings a great background from starting out at the University of Notre Dame, dealing with the art history library and achieving high status as a student there dealing with microfilm and database and all sorts of things and uh, up to their present position where she uh, uh, is at WCSH and not to give a plug for them or whatever but uh, she's at, I hear she's actually taking care of Bruce, Bruce Glazier before his retirement trying to get him historical information so that he could uh, you know give us the news correctly in sports and everything else but she was in charge of a small his, uh, library department over at CSH also but what uh, I'm really excited, even more excited about is that, uh, you know, she, she brings uh, an ability to <clears throat> reach out to the to media sources, to the community. And I, what I really was impressed too, also, she says she, she has an ability to come up with creative low and no cost solutions, which I'm sure that Mr. Davis would be very happy to uh, have her enthusiasm, excitement uh, involved with the Library Advisory Committee and Board. Um, and she is a very uh, avid reader. She's used the library resources often. What I found interesting also is that uh, she has been involved in the library book sale, but she also has brought her son along, her 11-year-old, to help out with the uh, book sale and uh, so forth. So I, I really think we bring a lot of enthusiasm and related experience uh, with Amy to the Library Advisory Board, and I'm very excited And Amy's here with us tonight, as is Kevin. And uh, Amy, if you'd like to say a few words, I'd like to welcome you and welcome you to the podium. Thank you so much to you all in council and to Mr. Kevin Davis and to the other library board members that I'll be joining shortly. Um, this is a real honor for me. As you said, I live on Pitt Street and when I describe where I live to my out of town, out of town friends, I usually start by saying, well, let's see, it's walking distance to the library. And uh, public libraries have been a hugely influential part of my life. I grew up in Limington, where the one-room Davis Memorial Library, no relation, um, was open less than six hours each week. The whole library was smaller than this room. It was about half the size of this room. It was the only place close enough for me to ride to on my bike, and I probably read every book in the children's section there. <laughs> because our rural library resources were limited, we were eligible for the Maine State Library's Books by Mail program. Program. This is long before Kindle or anything like that. I ordered so many books and read them that my parents actually installed a bigger mailbox just so that we could receive the giant zippered canvas bag from Augusta right at our home rather than having to go to the post office to pick up the parcel. I can still remember that giddy feeling opening the mailbox and seeing that the books are here. I still get that slightly giddy feeling when my interlibrary loan books arrive at the South Portland Public Library. I know that South Portland is a better place because we as a community value literacy, the arts, cultural opportunities, programs for children, and the many other services that our library provides. We invest in it through municipal funding, through fundraising, and we invest in it with our time. It enables people of every age and income level to have access to learning opportunities. When we use the library, we are patient, patrons and we are borrowers. And it is the embodiment of a skill that we should all have learned in kindergarten, to, sh to share. We all don't have to own a copy of every single book, CD, or film because we can share them. And because in the end, it's having the knowledge that comes from books and films and CDs in our minds that is the ownership that really matters. And so I'm so pleased to be able to help support South Portland, um, South Portland Public Library's mission. This community institution is one that I believe in very strongly, and I, this is very special to me. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, anyone else comment? Yes. Uh, first time. Uh, my only comment is that uh, 
Well, two comments, actually. One is I've actually been in a Limington public library. <laughs> I'm not sure it today is any bigger than it was back then. Uh, I don't think so. It's, uh, I, your description was very apt. Uh, and uh, uh, secondly, I think, you would, I think she would be a perfect candidate if only she'd gone to school a little bit further south in the hills of Bloomington. Uh, Go big red, yes, exactly. But I will, I will put, I will put uh, college rivalry aside, and I'll certainly support this nomination. <laughs> Being very appropriate. I only have one other comment. It seems like, oh, I'm sorry, Councilor. Yeah, no. Just, just very briefly, I also wanted to thank uh, Kathy Barbie. Kathy had previously been in my district and was first my appointment, and then Council Livingston was kind enough when she moved to swap appointments, and so uh, we were able to keep her on the board, and she is also an uh, avid library user and supporter, so uh, I know it's probably disappointing to her to not be able to continue. But, uh, having said that, I would say that's one of the finest acceptance speeches for a, uh, an appointment we've ever had, so I don't know uh, whether you assisted her in writing that, Councillor Livingston, but it was very well done, and, uh, and welcome, welcome aboard. Yeah, great. Okay. I want to thank Councilor Livingston for this appointment and the words that uh, you shared with us this evening. T two comments. One, I'm happy to meet maybe a kindred spirit because I ran after our um, bookmobile all the time in New Hampshire when I saw it arrived. I think I was running down the street. It was either the ice cream truck or the bookmobile. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, which one it was, but both were attractive to me at the time. Um, but also, I think your, your point on sharing is a point uh, well noted. And uh, I think the... Uh, Library book sales come up from time to time, and it's an important time to think about maybe cleaning out the closet. If you've got some great books that you want to share with others, that might also be another way of giving back to the library. So um, you've helped kind of get the wheels turning in my head. So I want to thank you for that this evening as well, and welcome aboard. Thank you. Without any further questions or comments, all of those in favor of this appointment, show that 7-0. Thank you very much, and welcome. <laughs>